morning, friends. Uh, it's Katie Steinberg here with you. It is a rather quiet and peaceful morning out here at the beach. Um, water's quiet and not as many people as normal. And, and the sun's just starting to peek over the horizon, so lovely. Um, oh, and happy Father's Day. Any dads out there that are watching? Um, but uh, since I told you not to, maybe there aren't any. <laughs> But this is what I was thinking about this morning and today. My um, little devotional that I read this morning said, uh, you know, it was about trusting God with the future and with the plans God has for us that'll work out. And, um, you know, God only wanting for our good. And so I read that and I just immediately start thinking, but how can it be so with all that I see going wrong in the world? You know, how am I supposed to trust this God when so many things seem unfair, unjust, not right, plain wrong, and uh, and that's a big stumbling block for me. Confession time. <laughs> um, I mean, I have to right size myself. I have to remember that my perception of what's going right and wrong, or where it's all going can't be the only one, right? Then I'd be God <laughs> instead of God being God. Um, you know, I have to remember that maybe I don't, uh, there are things beyond my understanding. Um, not, not exactly comforting. Uh, I have to remember that, that what, you know, Martin Luther King Jr. said, the arc of history is long, but it bends towards justice. So I try to remember those things and hold them, but, uh, but it still doesn't quite square with me. And as I was journaling about it, I even journaled this line. I said something like, um, I'm scaring myself even thinking these thoughts as if my struggle with understanding how God is at work in the world will somehow mean that that same God would be displeased with me in some way, which is, which is weird. Cause that's old, that's old stuff that's old um, an old track running through the head you know if that because I don't believe that about God I don't um, believe that God punishes us for struggling that doesn't make any sense to me I think there's very little that God actually punishes for if anything maybe nothing maybe it's all grace and love um, but uh, but I had that thought and I think it's okay to struggle I think it's okay to not uh, be able to understand how it all works together. I think it's okay to be upset about all that seems to be going wrong. Um, you know, when, when kids are getting shot in elementary schools and when, you know, big weaponized countries are invading small farming countries and when you know, people struggle for, for power and, and kill others and take other people's power and, and rape and murder and addiction and you know I mean you can throw pretty deep on that um, but that can't be what decides if I believe there's a God or not who is all love because it's balanced by this idea of freedom we get to choose that seems really unfair I mean I want to be able to choose but I don't want anybody else to be able to or something along those lines, right? Because, uh, you know, the, the ego thinks it knows what's best, what's right, what's fair, what's good. So that's it. I'm not giving answers today. I don't have an answer for that. It's hard. Maybe we get the answers one day. Maybe we should bring in somebody who's like 95 and done a lot of life. Maybe they have more answers. I don't know. Or maybe we just have to have faith in spite of not having the answers. Maybe I actively choose to believe in a God that is good and of love and uh, in, in Jesus and this prophet who pushed back against depression and, uh, and was a revolutionary. And I believe in a spirit that, that guides me and, uh, and I decide to be good anyway. Maybe that's what makes it being good. Uh-oh, I'm doing answers, y'all. But maybe that's what ends up making it be doing good is that it's not a pre-prescribed, laid out, sensible, sensical, logical, human answer. It's not some transaction where you do good, you get good, and it's all simple. 
that's as close as we're getting to answers today. I hope you all have a happy Father's Day and that you find some space for breath and peace in your life today. That you um, can find gentleness for yourself and for others. And, uh, and that maybe we can just let some things not have answers. Peace, friends.